Hi guys. All right, it's about time for me to do what I had in mind. The idea that I had, I wanted to move these rails here out, bring them about, I think it was three and a half inch or four inches out on this side and take this bridge out make the radius wider so right now I think it's 23 so it's gonna be the new one is gonna be 26 so I also bring the track and instead of going from here to there I'm gonna bring it straight out to the bridge so this way this turn here won't be as sharp as it is now so I have already built the pieces that will go so this is the hex frog juicer behind this glass here so one is gonna go like this here and the second piece is going to go on this curve here which is this one here I have built Let's see, it will go like that okay and this other one is going to go to the other side so what I have to do I have to start to take out all this uh, scenery, greenery here, take this road out, take this out all the way to here. These are sensors for the for this crossing here. So I don't think I, know. I have to take those sensors out but then I have to cut this fascia here and so what I'm gonna do basically then all these railings here I mean the rails here they will come out the switches I'm building new switches for here I have the video you can go watch it on how to build a new uh, switch so this these are think 23 and 24 turnout out uh, radius uh, so they're gonna be newer longer uh, switches and also these all this year is gonna change so it's a lot of work uh, but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take pictures and show it to you guys how I'm gonna do it because I don't have the time to set up the camera and film it and edit it all that stuff so because I want to get this done quick so uh, as I said I'll show it to you guys by pictures and I will explain what is being done and also I have covered here all this area so they don't get dusty uh, this thing so all right, that's it for now, and uh, just be on the watch and subscribe so you can follow the progress of the work. And I have to build a new bridge from scratch because this this radius is not gonna work anymore. And I'm kind of excited because this turn here is too sharp, and that's always bothered me every time long cars they come over here they kind of overhang too far and it doesn't look good so i can use probably the railings here i can reuse them i can reuse this uh, columns here for the bridge it's just uh, i have to build a new bridge top basically all right guys uh, that's it for now and uh Please don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, be on the watch for the progress of this work. Thank you for watching.
Okay, while the battery was charging for the vacuum, I decided to make this video, so I took these pieces out already. <clears throat> so what I used for, from newspapers and stuff, so I put them in here, so they came out, the whole chunk came out <laughs> very easily. So, <clears throat> uh, another thing uh, I did, I uh, vacuumed all the ballast from here. I got to do more. So, I usually uh, glue the side, the ballast on the side, like right here. But in the center, I don't glue it, I just pour it in. So in case I need to remove the track and work on it, so the track comes off easily. You can see the track is moving, so it will come out easily. And the tracks are clean, so I can reuse them. Especially the switches, I don't want to get any glue on them. So these are all clean, so I can take them out. And also I recycled the ballast, so I don't have to uh use new ballast and also i have removed all those trees and stuff so it would be a good chance to actually i gotta remove all this uh, roadbed here and redirect them so now i have to cut these to the level of the board here so i know where i have to put the new so this one so I will know I gotta get it level with the inside top. All right, guys. Yeah, I removed all the ballast here too. So this saves a lot of ballast when you don't glue it down and also keeps the cra track clean so you can reuse it. I gotta clean here too all the way to there Guys, I just wanted to make this quick video and I want to show you to how I throw that switch. I installed the servo on the track itself and I'm using the octopus tree and this is the button here so let me show you how it works. You can see So this is in those cases that uh, because I've used 2x4s and these rails are too far out, the 2x4 is right under it. So I kind of dig a hole in the 2x4 and I insert this into the 2x4. I'll show you a picture. So this way uh, I can uh, make the switch work unless it won't. Uh, it works pretty well. 
Let's see. All right, I'm. All right, uh, I've taken the bridge off and installed these extensions here. They were kind of sloping this way, so I had to put supports under it. This uh, 45 degree supports, I glued them, nailed them. So I'll wait until tomorrow. And uh, I just finished painting this uh, switch the new one it's gonna go here somewhere so like this and I'm working on the other switch for the other side I've installed this one too I had to use my belt sander to smoothen the surface and make sure the transition from there to this one it's uh, smooth and uh, no bumps or anything all right so this is it so far and uh, until the next step